our segment of Facebook Live, um, Harp TV style. All right, this is my good friend Antoine, and uh, we're out here to actually do a little bit of fishing, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, our centennial year. Uh, Charlotte County has been around for 100 years, and we're going to be celebrating all year in 2021. The very first event that we're going to be having is the Centennial Derby. The Centennial Fishing Derby is an all water, salt water, fresh water tournament, and it's completely free. All um, of Charlotte County water? Absolutely. That's all of uh, canals and streams and rivers and ponds and uh, Charlotte Harbor and then also the Gulf of Mexico. Um, there's a lot of different species that are going to be. Uh, on there. What kind of fish can we catch? Well, that's a good question too. Uh, this derby includes uh, snook, trout, uh, redfish, uh, freshwater fish such as largemouth bass, tilapia, bluegill, crappie, uh, bowfin, catfish. There's something out there for everyone. So no matter where you're at in Charlotte County, you, if that, that water is legal to fish, you're able to fish it. And there's more than likely a fish there that you can enter into the contest. Can we keep the uh, fish to keep? Uh, can we eat it? You absolutely can. If if you would like to catch keep any of the fish, um, they must be legal, of course. Um, all state and county rules apply when you're fishing. And uh, how do we enter? Great question. Uh, to enter, you're going to be, you go to one of the rec centers in Charlotte County or one of the libraries, and you go and you pick up one of these Centennial Fishing Derby measuring devices. And it has, there's a list of the rules on the back. There's a list of the fish and also the, the divisions of which you can fish. Um, we're be, we'll be giving away 12 different prizes uh, for the different divisions. Uh, and then also there's going to be a environmental catch, which is a five gallon bucket filled with trash. And there will be 10 winners for that. So wherever you're going to be fishing, if you walk around and you ha happen to notice a lot of trash around, go ahead, put it in a bucket, take a picture of it with your measuring device in the picture, and you'll be able to enter in for a prize. Now, in order to, to enter the catch into the tournament, there's a QR code on each one of these measuring devices. Scan this QR code with your phone and download the app. Once you download the app, you'll be able to take a picture of your fish uh, on the measuring device. You'll be able to take a picture of it as a selfie, then revive the fish and release it. This is a catch and release tournament. Uh, however, you are allowed to keep a fish if you want to take it home and consume it yourself. Um, for more information on this, you can go to charlottecounty100.com and there will be a website there for all of the rules, uh, our sponsors, um, any of the advertisements that you'd like to see. There's also going to be a calendar there for all of the other quarterly events. Yep, we're out here at the beach, so you always get something going on. <laughs> and uh, it's just going to be a great time fishing in Charlotte County. Now, this tournament lasts for an entire month. So it starts January 1st all the way through December 31st. And during any of that time, you catch a fish and you enter it, you'll have a chance to win one of these great prizes. So uh, with that being said, we're going to show you just a real quick little stint on how to throw a cast net. And I'm going to give it a shot and we're going to see if Antoine can follow up with that. I'll teach you guys a little bit of how to throw a cast net. Now there are many different techniques and different styles of doing it. The best way for you is whatever works for you. Um, I've tried a bunch of different styles and this one that I'm going to show you today is the one that seems to work best for me. So what I have here is a nine foot cast net and uh, it takes a little bit to learn how to throw it uh, but practice does make perfect especially when you have a big school of fish running around you. Um, trust me you get some jitters, you throw it so you want to practice this before you get up to the water. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to, the line is completely untangled. We're going to coil the line up. You grab it by the, I guess, yoke. And you want to stretch this out as best you can. And then we're going to spread the net just a little bit to make sure there are no tangles in the bottom. Okay, 
thing that looks good. Now from this point, go down about one third of the way. It's about two feet. Loop it over your hand. So when you grab it, you're gonna just loop it over the same way that you did the coils. And you go down again. So you have about three and a half feet sticking out. Loop it over one more time. Now at this point, you can grab a small section and lay it over your hand. Lift the bottom edge of the cord up underneath your thumb. So now you have this sitting here. You're going to grab a section of the tail end in your hand. Now the proper technique for throwing this or what helps me the best is bringing it back, getting settled, letting that hang. If you swing it, like this and it wraps around, chances are you're not going to get a decent cast. So if you bring it on back, kind of have it laying there, take a step forward and it's you're just taking it and throwing it up like a, a big, big frisbee. So here we go. And that's pretty much it. Came up pretty good, um, but it seems to work. Hey, let me try that. Ready? Mm -hmm. Antoine. Hi, man. N nice throw. I'm learning. <laughs>